Danny, thank you. Well, right now, as Southern Nevada continues its transformation from Meadows to Metropolis, NV Energy says that it needs to produce and also pump out more energy to keep the lights on. So the big question that we answered today, what are the chances the lights will go out if more people put a strain on the grid? 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey tells us how officials are building massive projects to keep all of us in the light. I think it's fair to say that just about everybody enjoys the convenience of flipping a switch and the light comes on. But every new home, every new person in Nevada adds stress to our electricity grid that's already added hundreds of thousands of people over the last decade. The big question, can Envy Energy keep up? There are probably few people in Las Vegas as passionate about clean energy as James Katzen, a man who built his own electric vehicle. Nope, not that one that one. This is a, originally a Mitsubishi Mighty Max 1988. I bill it as the original Tesla. To go along with his electric truck and protecting the environment, Katzen has installed solar panels on his home and is calling for complete decarbonization as fast as possible to avoid the worst effects of climate change. We have to at least hybridize, if not uh, go totally 100% electric. And, and as, as quickly as possible. That sentiment is shared by Southern Nevada's dominant energy provider, NV Energy. The company is trying to be carbon neutral by 2050. We have a goal to be 100% renewables uh, in, in our future. And we are moving towards that goal. But with Southern Nevada's population booming and more homes coming online to burden the electric grid almost every day, how will NV Energy keep pace? We have been empowering the growth of Southern Nevada for over 100 years. So. Keeping up with the growth is nothing new to us. What is new to NV Energy are plans to greatly expand the company's access to clean energy and transmission in the coming decade. It's a project called Nevada GreenLink. This map shows how it works, connecting Nevada's only high capacity transmission line between Ely and Las Vegas and forming a triangle with two new massive lines meeting in Urington. GreenLink is going to unlock these renewable energy zones in our state, solar, geothermal, places that have never been able to be developed because they haven't had that transmission access. Before GreenLink, even if someone built a power plant in the rich geothermal regions of northern Nevada, there would be no way to move the power. On top of generating our own electricity, GreenLink will connect to grids out of state to pull power from other green sources in times of high demand. It's allowing us to tap into resources across the west, hydropower in the, in the northwest, um, wind power in the Midwest. Shurik says that the fears this investment will boost customer costs are likely unfounded, pointing to Envy Energy's ability to phase out use of coal power sources completely in southern Nevada over the last decade, all while customers saw their bills shrink. So while building Green Link may be a lot harder than slapping batteries on an old truck, Shurik says that it will be worth it to keep up with the booming metropolis. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.